session at least. Yeah. <laughs> when I haven't got anything to do, I just kind of wake up in the morning and stick on a DVD or play a computer game or something. My mates would know this, but we get really enthusiastic about a film or a computer game. We get really like comically frustrated or like sitting there just having a laugh at a film. And after that, I kind of have to head out. If I haven't got anything to do, I do have to head out of the house quite soon. I can't stay indoors all day. I get quite really bored. It's quite nice where I'm at at the moment. I'm quite living near a train line, or, or, or several train lines, a bridge and a tunnel, and very near the south bank, and near loads of transport, so I can get just about anywhere from there. I usually end up in um, central London, because it's so close by, so I, li I live in Elephant and Castle, I just kind of, it's in walking distance. There's a Charing Cross Bridge, where it's just like um, a walkway next to a train line. And I walk towards the riverbank and then cross over to Charing Cross. And um, uh, there's one thing that I found, like, if I'm listening to like MP3, it, it's usually if it's on, like there's a, a band called Perfect Circle, or like something quite, I don't know, I don't know if melodramatic is the word for it, it just seems like I'm walking to like some kind of military base or something, there's always music and everyone kind of, Everyone's got this kind of same facial expression on their face, like, mmm, got to go to work and stuff. And that's quite funny. <laughs> After trying cross the bridge, I head towards either Tottenham Court Road or Covent Garden to go to the comic shops there, even all the way towards British Museum, so past Holborn and stuff. And I try to steer away from main roads, apart from if I've really got to take the main road, like Oxford Street, to get to, an, like, a library or shop or something. I think one reason for that is I keep window shopping for everything. I do like to go to the city, I just find it a bit too pedantic and hectic and stuff. There's been times, I think in summer I tend to go to galleries or like hang out with mates and stuff, but in the winter I just kind of like, if you haven't got nothing to do, really I've got nothing to do, so just go to shops and just window shop all day long or just walk, walk around. Yeah, just like uh, walking around and like trying to find new routes and stuff is quite fun, I think. Uh, I used to be from Crystal Palace, so going there is quite fun. And seeing my mates down there, it's, it's good for a laugh. Yeah. It's too far to cycle, so all mainly uphill to Palace anyway, so we usually have to catch a bus or, yeah, mainly catch a bus, don't really catch a train or overground. Um, so cycling is definitely cycling is good because like um, you know not having to be caught up in rush hour traffic or like whilst you can just kind of go weave through it and stuff so it's really easy easier on a bike and if, if the case be that the buses are always packed and at least on a bike you're not surrounded by people like on a bus and you're not stuck in traffic for um, two hours at a time. <laughs> Me and my mate decided to go to Greenwich. Uh, we didn't take the bike because it was too cold, nor the motorbike, so we just hopped on the bus. It took a while, and uh, we almost gave up hope and ended up going to Ocean, but we ended up finding the bus in the end. Greenwich, it's, um, it's, it's really quite quirky and stuff. Mo most of it seems off key, but it's really nice down there. Like They've got uh, shops, the kind of like souvenir shops and novelty titled shops and stuff, because it's all kind of by the sea and Isle of Dog. And then at night you get a green laser beam in the park. I thought it was for the Mer Meridian Line, maybe, I think. <laughs> <laughs>